Hey C3 Life Groups, thanks for joining us this week as we conclude our eight trait series with our topic on holiness. And you know, when Brant sent me the, the idea of preaching on holiness, and I looked at the layout of the sermon series, I thought, you know, this would be really a good one to put out at the beginning of the sermon series, just because when I look at all the things we've talked about so far, gratitude, wisdom, and all these things, I thought, you know, those are really aspects of what we call Christian character or holiness. But then when I looked at the schedule, I thought, you know what? Actually, the last week in wrapping this up might be the best place for it as we go into this next week where we are gonna celebrate Holy Week. And by the time you watch this, we have all, we'll have already uh, gone through Palm Sunday, celebrated that. We will be looking ahead to Good Friday and of course getting ready to celebrate Easter. And so in this message, what my goal was to do was as we were preparing for this week, was to really to get us to think about God's holiness. What does it mean for God to be holy? And then what does it mean for us to respond to that in light of what his word says? And so I took us to first, uh, excuse me, first Peter chapter one, verses 13 through 16 was my base text. And then we used Isaiah chapter six as our illustrations for that verses one through eight. And the initial point was that the reason that we are called to be holy in 1 Peter chapter one is because we have a model of what holiness looks like. We are called to be holy because our loving Father is holy. And we looked at what Isaiah's response was to holiness after he has this amazing encounter with God in chapter six, he then has this response of how he goes out and lives his life. And that was really our second point of the mentality that we are called to live with as believers once we understand how truly holy God is and really how unholy we are. And so we looked at, at Isaiah's response and his recognition of his uncleanness and then God's goodness to save him. And so I just encourage you this upcoming week to really think through what does it look like in my life for God to be holy? What is my proper response to that holiness look like? And then how am I to go out and live a life in response to those truths? And so in a few moments, you're gonna get to see a few questions that we've uh, designed to get you to think more deeply about these things. And I just encourage you to come uh, worship with us on Good Friday and Easter and really dig into the idea of holiness more with us. Thank you so much.